The signs and flags were a show of thanks to the U.S. and its NATO allies for the no-fly zone. But the main message was blunt. Extend the campaign to bomb the Libyan army no matter how close it is to civilian areas and don't worry if mistakes are made. What happens if they kill innocent people? Don't care if some, this is shaheed. Martyrs. Even those who set up this rally know the rebels can't win without help. And there are reports that the political and military factions of the revolt have reached an accord. The rebel military council says it now has a functioning command structure, a list of specific weapons they want, and a core of professionals who can be both trusted and trained to use them quickly. Fears that Western-supplied firepower could end up in the hands of chaotic volunteers running up and down the road are misplaced, according to the spokesman for what is now called the Free Libya Forces. Now the anti-tanks and anti-cannons also, uh, plus the most important thing is the, the communica their communication systems, you know. The Libyan army is using Russian-made military hardware to batter towns like Misrata and Brega, from which some civilians managed to flee today. The rebels want Western weapons. We will need uh, advisors and uh, instructors just to show us how to use it. It takes time, uh, not more than a week, I, I think. That may be as optimistic as asking NATO to provide close air support for rebel fighters. Alan Pizzi, CBS News, Benghazi.